Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video we're going to talk about handheld camera techniques and how to improve them in case you are not happy with the results you're getting with your camera. Stay tuned! If you're following my channel since a long time, you probably know that I love to film handheld. I'm doing it since uh, three years. So if you're interested to learn a bit more and solve some little problems you can have while filming handheld, uh, in today's video and some upcoming videos I will publish in the near future, you will probably have a good time with me. So the first tip I can give you is always bring with you a camera strap. It's small, it's lightweight, they gave it to you for free when you bought your camera. There are no excuses to don't bring this uh, tool with you. You could film handheld without a camera strap, but it's uh, too limiting and you're gonna have a lot of disadvantages compared to having a camera strap with you. So the camera strap, you don't wanna have it too far from your body and not too close. A good balance, I find it to be, let's say like this, so in a way that you can shape your arms in a good angle, almost 90 degrees. And the important factor that nobody talks about while using the camera strap is that the camera straps help you to fight the shakiness of your body. And you do that thanks to gravity. If you pull down your camera while you push forward the camera far from your body, you're gonna put so much tension in this camera that the camera feels like it's gonna weigh around 10, 15 kilos. And that is gonna give you stability. That's why it's really important to have a camera strap always with you. Because even if you have a small and lightweight camera with you, thanks to the camera strap and the strength of your arms, you can make this system extremely stable. And it doesn't matter if you have a camera with the IBIS or not, because you're gonna have great results anyway. So what I do is always grabbing the cameras with two hands, if you have a small camera, maybe it's advised to use a small cage in a way that will give you more grip to your camera. And then with both ends, I both push forward and push down in a way that I'm gonna cover two axes of the camera stabilization. And if I move the camera, I'm not doing it with my arm, so I'm not doing this. I just move and shift my body. Another tip I can give you, considering also the system I'm using, is to prefer wide-angle lens over telephoto lenses. Because if you have a wide-angle lens, your footage is gonna look way more stable than a 50 or a 75 or 85 millimeter focal length. So if you can, always prefer to use a lens that is going from 16 millimeters to 35 millimeters. Over 35 millimeters, you're probably gonna have a little bit of shakiness when you film handheld with your camera. The camera strap is gonna limit this problem. For example, in my case, I'm able to film up to 85 millimeter just with the camera strap, but of course I cannot walk and have some limitation in the camera movements I can do, because with 85 millimeter, the shakiness is always behind the corner. Keep that in mind. The third tip I can give you that is extremely important in my opinion and not so many people are talking about is how you place your legs when filming handheld. Some videos online are talking about doing this movement that is, uh, I mean I cannot even do it properly without risking to break my face, but uh, it is uh, extremely limiting. It is stable but like the range that you can move, it's uh, pretty limited. So I never used it, I never liked it, and I find it a little bit uh, dangerous for our camera equipment. So what I like to do is to use, uh, let's say, a karate position or a skateboard position, snowboard, call it how you want, because I find this is the best position that will give you an extremely good range of movement and a lot of stability. It is important that you fix both your feet on the ground and you don't lift the toes or the heel. So you have to keep your foot always extremely stable to the ground. And you're gonna move just with your body, shifting like this. You see, is this just an ankle move, nothing else. I don't move my arms, I don't move my 
legs, I just shift my body. And this is extremely important because in this way we are not gonna introduce shakiness in our footage. And in case you want to do a push in or push out, you're gonna use this movement. And if you wanna simulate a slider, plant your feet pretty strongly on the ground, hold the camera and you shift your body. And this is extremely effective. You can also play a little bit with some arms camera move. And this is gonna give a really effective and efficient camera moves with the handheld camera system. And it's extremely convenient. I use it all the time with uh, enormous satisfaction. It is important to mention something regarding the position of your feet because you have to consider the equilibrium of your body. In my opinion, it's extremely important that you train often the equilibrium of your body and give some strength in your ankle and in your legs to be more stable while filming. For example, there is an exercise that is extremely useful for this and it's this one where you do this movement, you go up to your toes, you do it really a lot of times and you hold and then you're gonna feel that you're not gonna be extremely stable you're gonna be a little bit shaky and that's totally normal and that's how you train your body to be more stable in case you're gonna walk or you're gonna try to be fixed on the ground trying to film handheld another important exercise you can do is just to stay on one leg and go on your toes this is difficult at this moment, it's a little bit windy, so it's difficult to hold the position. But like, if you do this for a couple of minutes every day, this will improve a lot your uh, equilibrium and it's gonna help you a lot while filming handheld. The last tip I'm gonna give you today is about the center of gravity of your uh, stabilization system. That is you, your camera, your camera strap and your feet. So it is advised to lower the center of gravity as much as possible. Of course, you have to keep in consideration that you probably are filming a talent in front of you, so you don't want to film them really from the bottom and going up. And in case you need to be stable and filming on a high level, you can always use tools that are around the scene where you're filming, for example, a little table, a little bench or chairs. Don't be afraid to use them because you can take advantage of those tools to improve the quality of your footage. These techniques apply also when you walk. If you're doing, let's say, the ninja walk that everyone talks about, it is really important to keep the center of gravity of your body a little bit lower. So in this way, you're gonna be way more stable and your footage is gonna look great. I don't really love the look of walking with a camera without a gimbal. I always tend to have an object on the border of the frame and do a push in or a push out, considering that object that will give you more uh, the effect of moving thanks to the object going away or coming in in the frame. But if you need to walk, because you are doing an interviewer following your talent with your camera strap and your feet, it is important to keep lower the center of gravity and use the ninja walk to make your footage pretty stable. So here you have your tips for the first part of handheld camera techniques. I hope you found them useful and thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ciao guys!